I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update just for YouTube. Glad you found us here on the social media. We've been here every day of hurricane season and we'll still be here through the rest of the hurricane season. Although we're starting to count things down. It's coming becoming a lot fewer days left here uh, until we reach November 30th, the official end of hurricane season here in the Atlantic Basin. But again, we will be here every day bringing you the latest on what's going on. Glad you found us. Always give us an opportunity to sort of talk a little bit more in depth about what's happening out there. And the good news is there's a lot less happening right now than what we've seen over the last 24 to 48 hours. Potential tropical cyclone, always one of our favorite terms. 22, that's potential tropical cyclone 22, no longer being monitored closely by the National Hurricane Center. Uh, they're no longer issuing advisories on it. Maybe that's the better way to put it. The mess that it's turned into is still there, still bringing a lot of rain for uh, parts of uh, Cuba and the island of Hispaniola, uh, and probably uh, going to be something that needs to be monitored for a while for the folks who are there, but Again, the National Hurricane Center not going to be issuing advisories on it because all the tropical characteristics uh, are no longer being expected. So the big term that we always like to see, no tropical cyclone uh, formation expected over the next seven days. And again, not to say that parts of the Atlantic Basin are are going to still be receiving a lot of rain and even some winds, uh, but that's not going to be in the tropical sense. So the National Hurricane Center has uh, issued their last advisory on potential tropical cyclone 22. If you'll remember before that, the, the last thing that we had before potential tropical cyclone 22 was tropical depression 21. That was back in October. I want to say around the 24th or 25th of October is when the last uh, advisory was issued on that. And both the tr depression 21 and potential tropical cyclone 22 was thought to perhaps become vents didn't make it though. So we still have vents on the list as the next name storm. And at this point, it's beginning to look pretty slim that we're going to get to vents after all. Again, we had a couple shots at it there where we thought we might have events, uh, but it doesn't look like at this point we're really starting to run out of time as far as our hurricane expectations are concerned or tropical cyclone expectations are concerned uh, for 2023. But we'll see how that goes. We still have, of course, hurricane season ending officially on November 30th, but anything that might happen in December would still count for 2023. All right, hope you're already following me on some of the other social media. If you're not, here's an official invitation at John Dawson Fox 26. I am most interactive on Instagram if we want to kind of make some contacts there, especially if you want to look in more into my hurricane gear test, those preparations for hurricane season. All right, we'll be back again tomorrow. I hope to see you then.